we present today an example of AF driver's ablation guided by spatiotemporal dispersion of electrograms. This patient is a 70 years old man with previous myocardial infection and a history of paroxysmal AF. He experienced a PV isolation in 2006. His AF is now persistent with a LVEF decrease and heart failure. We start the procedure by performing the AFI mapping using a multi electrode catheter. We visually tag in the left atrium geometry clusters of white dots. These clusters correspond into AF driver's areas. Then we perform exactly the same mapping in the right atrium in order to obtain a biatrial dispersion map. Spatiotemporal dispersion is the electrical signature of AF drivers. Dispersion areas are defined as clusters of electrograms, either fractionated or non fractionated, that display the entire electrode time and space dispersion at a minimum of three adjacent bipoles, such that the activation spread over all the AFib cycle length. Here is an example of bystander area without dispersion with a low degree of fractionation. This is an AFib driver with dispersion and a high degree of fractionation. This is another AFib driver with dispersion with a low degree of fractionation. So we start the ablation of the dispersion areas in the left atrium. We use 35 to 45 watts on the septum and the entire wall of the left atrium. Our endpoint is to create electrical scar in this area of dispersion. We reduce the power on the posterior wall because of the esophagus position. After 25 minutes of radiofrequency, we organized AFib into a stable tachycardia. This atrial tachycardia was a peritrichospid splitter that we ablated and restored sinus rhythm. Then we induced another stable tachycardia. The activation map was performed with the pentaray catheter. Activation map and post pacing intervals are consistent with the macro reentry. A left atrium roof flutter. In order to stop this flutter, we created a line on the LA roof. This line terminated this atrial tachycardia and we restored sinus rhythm again. Then, no more atrial arrhythmia were inducible anymore. You can see here the biatrial ablation map and the pink dots corresponding to the sinus rhythm conversion spots. The total procedure time was 2 hours and 20 minutes and the radio frequency time was 45 minutes. Thank you very much for your attention.